Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandon Epstein and on this channel we do mental fitness training. Now you may have noticed that right now in 2020 we are living through a very chaotic time. There's chaos in politics, there's chaos in the economy, hey there may even be chaos in your home. So in this video I want to give you the tools you need to stay calm no matter what's going on around you because it's not about the environment, it's about you learning how to control your inner planet so you can feel good all the time. So let's get right into it. If events outside of you, circumstances, things that are happening or upsetting you, the first step is awareness. You need to become aware of what's triggering you, what's making you feel bad, and really what's bringing you out of a state of peace and harmony being calm and into a state of feeling chaotic within. So here's an exercise that I offer in my mental fitness training that I really advise you to do and try over the next week. Simply set an alarm to go off every two to three hours on your phone asking you, how do you feel right now? Just what's it like to be you emotionally in the moment? And then write that down like a note on your phone. You use a Google Doc, whatever you want, or you could use a physical notebook, whatever you have. And then ask yourself, what am I focusing on that's making me feel this way? Now this is going to give you a lot of interesting data to work with going forward because once you go through this process of waking up your awareness to understanding that you're making yourself feel bad and it's not necessarily the events outside of you, we can begin to take the next step and to create change. And so when I say making yourself feel bad, I know that purposely, if it was up to you, you wouldn't be trying to make yourself feel bad. What I wanna share with you though, is that you're constantly making these internal representations given your senses that are making you feel bad in any given moment. Let me explain this to you. Maybe if you're really politically divisive, let's say you hate Donald Trump and you hear him talking, it makes you feel bad. Well, he didn't make you feel bad. The internal representation you're making is making you feel bad. Same thing goes for maybe you're someone who sees Joe Biden and you're like, oh, you get really upset when you see him. Well, he didn't make you feel bad either. You made yourself feel bad through the internal representation you made with your sight. Now, I know this is a stretch for a lot of people, but this is what we do here on this channel. This is mental fitness training at its core. It's turning you into a conscious creator of your reality. So you're no longer at effect of the world around you, but instead you are a creator. So you constantly can create, create how you feel in any given moment. So try that exercise for a week. And you're also gonna find out what people bring you into a state of feeling chaotic and not calm and what events, what circumstances, and you're just getting get more awareness around who and where you should be spending your time with. In addition, you're gonna to start to understand what your triggers are, which is gonna be really helpful as we get farther down the line. Now once you've done this, I advise you to take the second step, which is beginning to do the same exercise with your alarms, but now every two or three hours when they go off, I want you to ask yourself, how am I feeling? So close your eyes, what's it like to be me? Whatever sensations are coming up, just document them. Ask yourself, what am I focusing on? Seeing what your, how your focus is creating your feeling and then here, we're gonna take it one more step. I'm gonna advise you to choose a new focus. Now, it's impossible to avoid this. If I'm watching the news all the time, I'm gonna get sucked into it and I'm gonna to start to feel bad. So knowing that, I'm going to choose to not focus on that. I'm gonna to choose to focus on what I want, which is creating positive change in the world and really creating a world that I wanna live in. And the only way I do that is by focusing on my mind and making actions or you know, deciding on specific choices, they're gonna get me there. So this is your opportunity to do the same. Literally, what you're doing is focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. Now this may seem too simple for a lot of people, so I want you just to think about this for a moment. When was the last time you felt bad? You were focusing on something that you didn't want, right? The last time you felt good, you were focusing on something you did want. So you may ask or say to yourself, oh, it seems too simple. But this is the beautiful thing about these universal principles. They're not supposed to be complicated. They're not supposed to be these hidden truths that are secrets you need to train for years and years to understand. The most truest of the universal truths are the ones that you can grasp like that. 
the ones that just connect with you rationally and on a spiritual level where you're like, that really does make sense. So simply, all you need to do to bring yourself back into a state of being calm is to focus your mind on something that makes you feel calm. Maybe that's playing with your dog. Maybe that makes, makes, make, makes me feel really calm. Maybe it's spending time with an intimate partner or having you know, some fun with your friends and laughing. Maybe it's playing sports. Maybe it's going and doing yoga or maybe it's meditating. All these things are you focusing your energy in a direction that's gonna make you feel calm. So the more that you focus your energy in a direction that's gonna make you feel chaotic, like going into Instagram and looking at all the people that you're outraged over and commenting, getting into comment wars with them, that's focusing on what you don't want and that's gonna lead you deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole of feeling bad and feeling like you can't deal with the chaotic world. So really you're making a choice in any given moment. You're either focusing on what you want or you're focusing on what you don't want. I hope you do the exercise and take a couple weeks to actually start to implement this into life, into your life, and you'll start to get much more deeply what I mean by this. The final step I wanna to share today in regards to making yourself feel calm in a chaotic world is starting to get more clear on what beliefs you wanna hold. When I talk about making yourself feel good or bad, really the way we shift this is we shift our beliefs. So if you're believing something at any given moment that's gonna make you feel bad, then you have two choices. You either wanna change your own personal actions so you're in alignment with how you wanna be living or you wanna change the belief if it's something outside of your control, okay? So let's take this for an example. Someone, maybe even a close family member, uh, is triggering you and you're feeling really upset over them. Well, you have to ask yourself, what am I believing about this family member that's making me feel so upset? A lot of times it's things that rationally you would never admit, but on a subconscious level, if you slow down enough, you take the time to do these exercises, you'll realize that you know maybe you're believing that them acting the way that they are means that you're not enough or that they don't love you or you're gonna end up being alone some of these deep down, you know, worst case scenario fears is what lies beneath a lot of these things that trigger us on the conscious level. So you gotta dig into this. You have, to, you have to ask yourself, what do I need to believe to be calm in a chaotic world? And you can list these out, right? And for me, I just choose to have beliefs, just general beliefs about myself, about people, about the world. I believe the world is limitless. I believe I am loving. I believe that people are kind. So when I hold these beliefs, I'm gonna be focusing my energy into the direction of creating these. I'm gonna be acting in alignment with them, which is gonna bring that reality into my life. So the more you take the time to consciously choose your beliefs with intention, the more you're gonna be able to align yourself with a calm world in the midst of chaos. Now hopefully this is hitting home with you, right? These are three very simple steps you can take. If you would like some more support with this, I did launch my mental fitness training course. And in this course, step by step, I'll take you through the whole process to do this for every part of your life so you can feel good all the time. Yes, it is possible. And that's what I mean when I say you're becoming a conscious creator of your reality. So check out the course, it's linked up below. There's more details in the video on that course page. Learn more, if you're interested, definitely join. We have a support and accountability group to help you in this process so you can stay accountable and get support all along the way. Thank you so much for tuning into the video today. I know you have all you need within you right now to be calm in a chaotic world. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. My name is Brandon Epstein. Any questions for me, you can always hit me up. I got the text message stuff going on down below. You hit me up on Instagram, whatever. All right, so thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video.